This lecture introduces homogeneous equations with constant coefficients of second order linear differential equations. So first, we know what makes of an equation homogeneous, right? When you have the right side of the equation equal to zero. And in this case, we consider equations with constant coefficients. That means the coefficients of y double prime, of y prime, and y are all constants. A, B, C are real values and cause constant real values. So what makes these equations so easy to solve is the fact that their solutions are always of exponential type and often in the form y equals to e to the rt, where r is a constant or it can be a real constant or, or it can be a uh, complex value. Well, so if, r, if y equals to e to the rt, then we can figure y prime, right, equals to r e to the rt. And we can figure the y double prime equals to r squared e to the rt. So if we have all of these functions line up, we can just plug this y and y prime and y double prime into the equation number one here to see what happens. So if you y double prime, we have a um, r squared e to the rt. And you have b um, r e to the rt. And you have c y, which is e to the rt. And you set it equals to zero. So let's see, if we have e to the rt is a common factor. We can, well, a natural thing to do is factor it out. And once I factor it out, I have a r squared, I have plus b r plus c equals to zero. And look, e to the rt is an exponential function is always positive. So in order to make this equation equal to zero, we just need to solve this symbol quadratic equation. So the next step is you want to solve this quadratic equations. And we know how to solve these equations. And, the, and we know that the variable in this case is r. r is an unknown variable, which is something that we want to find. is a constant, unknown constant in this solution form, but we have to find r, right? So r using the quadratic equation, you have negative b plus and minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Here we go. We can determine the value of r. And once you have the value of r, you can plug it in here, plug r into the form y equals to t to e to the rt in order to determine the solutions to this homogeneous equations with constant coefficients. All right, so if we have homogeneous equation with constant coefficients, we always have a unique solutions if b, c uh, are constants, right, and you have zero on the right side, then you always have a unique solution and the solution lives on the entire t axis. Okay. But in the case where um, y zero equals to v zero equals to zero, then y equals to zero is the unique solutions of the IVP. So V0 again, here Y0 is the uh, is one of the initial condition and V0 is the another initial conditions um, of derivative of Y. Okay. So if this equal to this and equal to zero, then Y equal to zero is the unique solutions for of the IVP. This is just one of the special case. All right. So how can we solve this uh, this homogeneous equation with constant coefficient, and we already see that we know that the solution in this form e to the rt, and we can just use this quadratic equation to determine the value of r to form solutions for these uh, homogeneous equations. And I summarize this all of this different solution types of homogeneous equations 
with co uh, constant coefficients. Okay. So again, if we look at a second order differential equations in homogeneous type with all constant coefficients, then we can find something's called characteristic polynomial of the differential equation. And the characteristic polynomial is actually this quadratic function, ar squared plus br plus c, okay? With the solutions of R, which is use a quadratic formula to find the solution of R. And once we have the solutions of R, we plug R into this solution form, Y equals to E to the RT. So in the case when B squared minus 4AC is positive, then we have two real values for R, let's say R1 and R2. The two values, real values, and they are different. Then the solutions for this differential equations is gonna be in this form. Y equal to C1 e to the R1t plus C2 e to the R2t. And keep in mind that since uh, e to R1t and e to R2t, are the two solutions to this differential equation and we combine them we find a linear combinations by multiply the first solution to a constant add to the second solution to a different constant and then again we know that this is a general solution to this differential equation all right again in the case where you found two real values for r and they're different then this is the solution to the differential equation in the second case if b squared minus 4ac equals to zero, you know that you have one real value and this is a repeated root and r1 and r2 are the same, which is the same as the value r. Then y equals to c1 times t e to the rt plus c2 e to the rt is the general solutions to this differential equation. Okay, e to the rt because r1 and r2 are the same, we just call it r. And you can see that the difference between these two solutions is one, it's just e to the rt, another one you multiply by t. All right, In the last case when b squared minus 4ac is negative, then you have two complex values, alpha plus and minus i beta. And then the solutions for this complex value of r's will be c1 e to the alpha plus i beta t plus c2 e to the alpha minus i beta t. All right, and again r1 and r2 are the conjugates of each other. Okay, so if you have a real uh, complex values for r, then your solution will have, it will, it will be in a complex form. I will discuss how we can uh, transform these complex solutions into real value solutions. Okay, let's look at the first example here. So find the solutions, you know, just general solutions to this following EDs, IDEs. I know that this is homogeneous differential equations. I know all the coefficients are all constants, and this is the second order, so I can go ahead and use this general rule over here. Okay. Well, I know that, let's do it slowly, step by step. We know y equals to e to the rt is the solutions, right? And now I need to find um, the characteristic polynomial of this equations. So I saw a characteristic polynomial of this equation is gonna be just r squared plus three r plus two equals to zero. I know it's r squared because the coefficient is one. I know it's three because of here. I know it's two because it's just a constant. All right. And now the next step is I'm gonna solve for this quadratic. Well, then this one is simple enough that I can just factor it. Plus two, r plus one, 
to zero. And then I know that r equals to negative two and r equals to negative one. Okay. These are two real values, and I can just use the formula saying that then my solution, general solution is y t equals to c1 e to the negative 2t plus c2 e to the negative t. This is the general solutions. Okay, go to the next one. If I have, again, I just want to come up with the characteristic polynomial and it's going to be r squared minus 5r equals to zero. So one, five, right? And then I just solve for r. So my r is equal to zero and r is five. So again, I have two real values. That means my general solution will be C1 e to the zero T, which is C1, right? Zero T plus C2 e to the five T. And that's just gonna be C1 plus C2 e to the five T is my general solution here. All right, go to the next one. Determine the characteristic polynomial CP is going to be R squared minus 2R plus 1 equals to 0. And I solve for this, I know that this is the perfect square. So that means I have one repeated root, which is 1. So this is going to be the second case, right? Then I know that y, y of t equals to C1t e to the 1t plus c2 e to the 1t is my general solutions here. Okay. And then the last one is I have, so I want to put it in the correct form, y double prime minus 4y prime plus 7y equals to zero. So this is the correct form. And from this form, form equations, I can come up with the characteristic polynomial which is gonna be r squared minus four r plus seven equals to zero. And in this case, I have to use the formula, uh, quadratic formula, which is gonna give me four plus and minus square root of four squared minus four times seven over two times one. And in this case, I have a complex root because 16 minus 28 is negative 12. So my r would be 4 plus and minus negative 12 over 2, right? And then you can uh, simplify it. So it's going to be 2 plus and minus negative 12, 4, so it's 3, so negative 3 over 1, Right, and then if I want to bring it to i, so it's going to be 2 plus and minus um, 3i. These are two complex roots of my characteristic polynomial. And so far, I know that my general solution will be, this is complex, right? y t equals to c1 e to the 2 plus 3 i t plus c2 e to the 2 minus 3 i t. This is the general solutions for this differential equations. In the next lecture, we will learn how to um, convert this solutions into um, the real solution set. Here we go. How to solve a homogeneous equation with constant coefficients using characteristic polynomial. And again, you have three different scenarios 
for your characteristic polynomials, and these are the three solutions corresponding to those three scenarios.